Let's talk about the growth in Caldwell on this week's Growing Idaho. Mayor Jerem Wagner has a lot of experience in planning a city's growth. He's worked as a planning consultant, a city planner for Caldwell, a transportation planner for ACHD, and a planner with Canyon County. Right now, he's drawing on all that experience, not only figure out what Caldwell should look like in 20 years, but also figure out the path to get there. And the main feature of that path seems to be attracting not just growth, but different types of growth. So it's been, you know, quite the journey, you could say. Jerem Wagner is the mayor of Caldwell, but three decades ago, he was just a teen moving to this city from eastern Idaho. A lot has changed since then, with the city more than tripling in population. So it's, it's a lot different than what we have now, but it's been exciting to see the change and it's so exciting to be a part of the change. But tons of folks don't want to be a part of that change. They share those same concerns, you know, like, you know, this is why we moved to Caldwell. This is why we love Caldwell. We don't want to lose that identity. And I'm right there with them. While the mayor understands not wanting to change as a city planner himself with years of experience, he also understands the need for that change. Growth is, is going to happen. I mean, you could stop growth, but that, in my opinion, is never a good thing. Um, you don't want to become stagnant in your community. You know, our downtown is so vibrant right now compared to what it was 10, 15 years ago. Um, and we don't want to lose that. The mayor says stopping the city's growth would get you the equivalent of a slimy, stagnant pool. That's opposed to a clear, flowing mountain stream, which is what you get with responsible growth. However, and the thing that we've had the issue with right the last few years, not just Caldwell, but throughout the Treasure Valley is that gentle stream has become a gushing waterfall. And so that's what we got to be careful of too. Wagner says the key to keeping growth from stagnating or becoming too much too fast is growing in not just residential, but also commercial and industrial, like the Charles Project along Karcher Road that was just approved a few months ago. That includes apartments, retail, restaurants, a hotel, and even some space that could be a fire station. How do we maintain that at a gentle slope to attract you know, new businesses and new enterprises to Caldwell, along with those great families that need to come and fill those jobs? And so that's kind of the, the details on that as we look at you know, land use cases and applications, filling the voids that we have and filling them with the right, with the right product and the right uh, development. And Wagner says that means getting everyone on the same page, city council and developers, so they all know what type of developments are needed and what will be approved. This is what the city council and the city is wanting for the future. This is where we want to go so that they know that when they come forward with the project, they can put those details into their plan to show that they're trying to create the vision that we want to see as a city. Wagner said it's also key for city leaders to work with Canyon County leaders. That way they can preserve the agriculture and water in those rural areas of the county while providing opportunities for more dense development in the city.